The best CAD cleanup scripts come from the people at smustard.com. And a lot of people don't really know what that name means. Well, it's like this, ketchup and mustard, SketchUp and smustard. Go to smustard.com slash scripts and you'll see this list. Some of the scripts are free, while others you have to pay for. And I said I wasn't going to go over anything that you had to pay for in this product, but I will just mention some of these because they're quite a good value for the dollar. Close Opens is a good script that closes gaps between lines, and it's $20. Delete Short Lines does what it says, and it's $10. Extend Closed Lines is like the Extend tool in AutoCAD. It just makes this happen automatically, and that is $20. Intersect overlaps can be useful to create true intersection points where SketchUp doesn't really have them. That's $20. And then there are two other scripts that are free that I will demonstrate. There's Stray Lines, which can identify problems in your line work, and that's free. And there's Make Faces, which is also free which creates faces from all the line work that you imported. You don't want to do make faces until all the line work is correct. So let's take a look at this plugin, which I've loaded, called Stray Lines. The first thing you can do is label them. And before you use this plugin, you need to make a selection, which in this case is this entire floor plan. So I'll say Stray Lines Label, and it's going to put little dimensions in that actually tell me exactly where the problems are. And it numbers them in terms of the number out of the total. So we have a total of 80 cases that we have to address. This is great because we don't have to hunt for them. These labels are going to make it more obvious. So I can zoom in here and say, OK, there's a problem there. It's identifying that as a problem. And actually, what I need to do is get rid of all of this because I'm not interested in the drywall here. Same thing over here. Now this wasn't labeled maybe, but I'm just going to zoom out. And actually it was labeled over here. But I can just take care of that one case at a time. And the labels just make it a little bit easier to know where you have to go to deal with this situation. You don't need that line either. Looks like I'm going to need a line right about here to represent this return here. As you can appreciate, this is quite tedious, and Label Strays just makes it a little bit easier. After you've spent the time cleaning up the line work with the help of Stray Lines, it's time to make faces. Select all the line work, and choose Tools, Make Faces. Now this script is analyzing all of the line work, and wherever there are closed, bounded areas, it will generate a face. You can see the progress bar is going across the bottom of the screen. When it's done, we get some statistics on how many faces were added, in this case 142, and there you go. Now it didn't do a perfect job because the line work wasn't perfect. Over here it looks like we have some manual cleanup to do. I'm going to zoom in here. It's not apparent why this didn't create a face. There must be a tiny gap in between these lines somewhere. So I'm just going to trace over that with the rectangle tool to create faces manually. And I'm just going to go around and do that everywhere in the plan. But at least Make Faces has eliminated most of the work. After you've manually created any remaining faces, it's time to start push-pulling things up to create a 3D model. I'll orbit around and switch into Perspective Mode. Now we have an elevation that we can use to extract height information from. I'll select all that line work and group it, and then rotate it up into its proper orientation. And in this case, this floor plan is actually not on the grade. It's up at this level. So what I'll do is slide the entire elevation down in the blue direction and snap it on the floor plan so that they're the same datum line. Notice everything here is blue. I'm going to reverse the face and then orient faces so that all of the faces are white. Now I can go ahead and use the push-pull tool to pull up individual walls to the corresponding height. And I can snap that here on the elevation. Now in some cases you may have extra lines that got extruded. Use the eraser tool to get rid of them. So in this way you can create a 3D model directly from the plan.